All right, everybody. I have made it to Pad Nose with everything that I loaded up. All these parts. Just there's just tons, tons of stuff. And then the the, the box that I cut up, freight uh, part that I got out of there. So I got quite a bit out of there today. Out of the auto body shop. Um, started raining started raining on me so I got out of there it's still quite a bit that has to come out but uh that was on the other side of town and I'm over here on the other side of town at the scrapyard and it's not raining over here well it was you can tell it was you can tell it was pouring over here. Uh, but, ooh, wrong old tractors. After loading this stuff up, whew, I'm exhausted. Actually, a really tall task for one person to do, but I got it. I wanted to get that that yellow cart. And uh, I tap my boot and uh, that filing cabinet out of there as well. I wanted to get that backside all cleaned up today. But the weather is just playing funny with me now, and I don't want to get caught in the rain anymore. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call out a day. It's a little after 1:30 in the afternoon now. It's my first trip in. This honestly probably gonna take me an hour, if not more, to get this off. Let's see if I can get the magnet guy over here, but I don't see the, I don't see it at all. Usually it's up here in the front. Oh, there it is, way in back. I see it now. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's way over there. They're not going to come over here. Stand here. I am blessed to get this far today. Mr. Mike's on lunch because I didn't see him. It's all taken up now. Bouncing down the road. I have to go back and forth to take stuff off. Curious to know if this is aluminum.
Okay, so this is gonna take a while. All this little stuff. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here a while. But I'm one step closer to being done there. But getting all this stuff out of that truck box that's right there, uh, I think that was really, um, the bulk of the bulk of it that was left. Some of these pieces, I'm gonna see if there's a room on them. So this is all the stuff. Everything I'm taking out right now is what was in this was in that truck box. Took me quite a while to get it cleaned out and cut up. I was having so many problems with my blades. And I broke a blade. And then it broke off in my saw. And I'm gonna have to work on that.
but it stopped raining. scrap grabber because I got a magnet sitting right there. Could have easily just pulled up and let them do their thing. What I'm from where I'm at they're like a few minutes out of the way. But I took a chance to come here because they're magnet. Their magnet thing is usually sitting right here, up there next to the inspector stack. But, fortunately for me, I'm not there today. Way on the other side of the yard. And it looks like it's busy doing something there anyway. So I don't think they're going to want it. Pull him off of what he's doing just to come over here. I guess that whole thing in handy for something. Problem is, I don't want to. If I do that, then I'm going to run it over. Don't want to run anything over. All right, let's switch sides here. Glad to see that off. Glad to see that thing out of the that yard. One guy came on when I was there. He's like, "Yeah, I worked here five years ago." He's like, "I had everything. I had all these boxes to put out here." Two. So we can keep all the metal separated. Well, that didn't work, it didn't work out too well because a lot of it was plastic. I just laughed about it. Thought it was funny. So all of this you see right here, everything right here, all that was in the truck box. If you guys watched that up in the other video. I think there was like two or three videos today. Loading stuff up.
out. Hello, sun. I'd rather see the sun than the rain. Bands out of my way.
can't grab it by a handful because stuff is in the way. Like the bands. This thing's in the way. Get these brake lines out of here. Brake lines. Holding everything up. How are ya? Good. Huh? I got some, yeah. I got you. <laughs> that was Doug. He uh he's the uh he he runs he runs the yard. Went to high school with him. Me, him, and Mike all went to high school together. It's crazy that we all went to high school together, and now we find ourselves together again at the scrapyard. Doug's the boss, Mike's the inspector, and uh, I'm a hauler. <laughs> That's funny. He asked me if I had some non ferrous Oh, I do. I got a whole bag of a truck full of it. I don't know if it's going to get caught, caught in today or not.
Man, I tell you, the scrap was still 300 a ton. I'll be doing good, but not. Nah. Barely a hundred a ton. But that's all right. Worked out a deal with the body shop guy. So it's gonna be all right. I'm not worried about all what I'm doing. Uh, like normally I offer free pickup with stuff but when it's a mess like this at first this was a free pickup but uh after everything that we had to go through just to get to the metal talked to the guy and worked out a deal so, I'm good. Just got to get it done. getting there. side too. Actually quite a bit of work but I'm getting it done. side again. Box. All 
before I leave. I actually covered it up with a couple body pieces earlier. Getting there. Mike, he's, he's got to be on lunch because he, he came out here by now.
getting there. out some other time. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. I have no idea. I have a hard time hearing sometimes. I really do. Trying to clean all these bolts and screws and anything I could get my tire. Should we 
are right now. There. That was that was a tall task. Trailer's empty. All right. So that is all unloaded. A good load out of the body shop. One load closer to being done over there. So this is a lead scrap metal pickup out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Appreciate all of you for following and tuning in. I think this is the end of the day because I think that weather's just being a little too unpredictable. So I will see you guys again tomorrow back at the body shop. Hopefully we can get it finished up tomorrow. Have a blessed day, y'all.